What is up, everybody? Welcome to another Let's Talk. And today we're going to be taking a look at the Trials of Mana, um, giving you my formal impressions of the game. Uh, I mean, I am 15 plus hours into the game. So um, this is for the actual retail release. I know I did one for the actual demo, but this is actually for the actual release of the game. So um, what did I find good about this one? Once I got the full game, I still think that the action is where the gameplay and action is where it's at. It's still on the same. If you played the demo, you have a pretty good idea of how the combat will flow and how the, the game will flow overall. And I think that's still one of the best things about the actual game is the actual gameplay and how it is intuitive in the actual flow of the game. Now I know a lot of people don't like the action RPG type genre because it's um it's kind of tends to kind of feel like hack and slash, but you do have to be smart in this game and I think the way they set up the the enemies and the bosses and uh the it gives you a variety of options as far as uh, RPG type elements. The soundtrack is actually amazing. I actually love the soundtrack. I, I think they did a good job on it. I know people were talking about the actual retro one, the the one from ninety, I think ninety five. But I've I've never played the original one, so I can only go off this. And and I enjoy the soundtrack. They have a lot of nice beats in it, and I think that it works well with what they have come up with. Uh, Finally got my first class upgrade. I do like the class upgrade system. It's pretty easy to use. Um, it And they give a good detailed description of each upgrade and of which path you want to go, light or dark. So um, I would suggest to anybody that once you get to that part, because once you get to level 18, that's when you can actually do your first class upgrade. And that's when you do your when you encounter your first uh, mana stone. So and if you find any other mana stones, you can actually uh, reset your class if you want to, if you wish to. Um, if there's a certain character that you want to change from light to dark, you can reset it at a, at a mana stone, and that's a good thing. But I think you need to take your time and actually take a look at uh, the descriptions of light and dark for each character because uh, I think it it depends on how you plan to play the game. Me, personally, I'm having fun because um, right now I'm playing with Hawkeye, Duran, and Angela. And I have uh, Duran going um, dark side, uh, the, the dark path, because I like him being more action focused on more um, of my heavy hitter. Uh, I got uh, Angela and uh, Hawkeye going light path. Um, but you can like choose whatever. And I think that, that actually opens up a lot more variety for the actual uh, characters in game in and of itself, because now you have to think about what all your moves are going to entail and all of that stuff. So it's actually pretty, it's actually pretty well thought out in my opinion, personally. Uh, I love the boss battles in the game. Um, there's a couple of them that are kind of uh, iffy, but I, overall I like the boss battles, especially the ones I've had so far. Uh, I've, I've only lost like one and that was because I had the wrong, uh, everything I was using was, was, <laughs> was wrong as far as like, uh, their weaknesses and stuff. So that that's that's one of those things where I actually it wasn't a it wasn't bad. It was just like me being stupid. So I, I deserve that L. But I like the boss battles. I think they're they're a ton of fun. I like the battles in this game. Period. I think they they I think Square Enix just did a great job on that. So what did I not like? Okay, so I noticed a couple things um, in this now that I have more time to play. And I noticed that there's a bit of a lag in control input. Like when you're surrounded by like three or four or five enemies, there's a little bit of a lag, especially when you're trying to do the dodge roll mechanic. I, I've noticed that. I don't, it, it was weird. Like in a demo, I didn't really notice it. I, I just, I knew, I noticed I was getting, I, I just thought it was me and my timing was being off, but I noticed like in the actual game release that when you are surrounded, and you're trying to dodge out of a uh, particular uh, move that it is, there's a lag to it. Um, especially there's one fight um, in particular uh, that I did where um, you're fighting these three uh, magic robots or whatever. And there's already a very big uh, 
area of effect. And I noticed that every time I was hitting the dodge button, it wasn't it wasn't registering as fast as it should have. So that's just one thing to to notice. But it's only in its when it's when you're surrounded. It's not like I, that's where I noticed it at. I don't notice it when it's just like um, my party of against like two of uh, two enemies or in a boss battle was just one enemy. But when the more stuff's on screen, the the I've noticed that the lag happens. There is a difficulty spike um in the game, but it, it's it's weird because where it happens, that's the only time that I that I noticed the, the difficulty ramps up and but it's not balanced throughout. So I don't know if that was just that part of the game. And I think that I, I would say what it is, but it's a spoiler if I say it, but it, it, it's really weird. It's only that one that one boss battle, but it, it's just weird that it spiked there and then everything else has been pretty, you know, on the level. Uh, going back to the to my demo impressions, the the, the voice acting and the di- and some of the dialogue. Well, some of the voice acting and some of the dialogue, I think, is just bad. Uh, there, there's a couple of characters that are just annoying. Um, they, their voices, I. I I, ca- I know where they were, what they were going for. It just, I, I don't think it was executed well. Um, I, anytime I see those characters on screen, I want to mute them, but I can't because I love the soundtrack so much. <laughs> so it's just one of those situations where I'm like, some of this dialogue is hokey and like it don't hold up well. And some of the, the voice acting is just, it's, it can be annoying. Um, and and there's a, one more thing that I that I noticed, and, and I've noticed this on each of my playthroughs. There's certain points, especially in boss battles, where the music just cuts out. And at first, I thought it was just something wrong with like I was hoping there was nothing wrong with my switch or anything. But I noticed this just in this game, like the music would just cut out completely, and it'll be out for about a good 10, 20 seconds, then it'll come back in. I don't know what that is. Hopefully, they can patch that and fix that. But I did notice it. So, all right. So other than that. I think the game is a lot of fun. Granted, I never did play the original, like I said, so I can only go off of the remake, but I think the Square Enix, they did a good job with this one. So have you played it? Is it on your list to pick up? Leave a comment. Let me know what you think about it. And uh, so let me know what you think about it so far. That's that's what I want to know. What, what do you think about it so far if you picked it up? And do you like the remakes? Uh, I think that any, I will never be mad at a company that remakes a game from the sixth gen and below, just because I think like some of so, some of the remakes have actually been pretty good. I I'm not gonna lie about that. Um, RE2 remake was very well done. Uh, this one I'm I'm having a lot of fun with this. Uh, Final Fantasy VII remake I'm having a lot of fun with. So you will probably never hear me complain about a remake that is from a game that has that is sixth gen or below. So let me know what you guys think. And as always, thanks for watching, and I will see you guys on the next Let's Talk. Peace out. This is the Mana Sword. Curses! Someone took Fairy away! We are coming for you, Fairy! If you wish to save Fairy, give me the sword. We've done it! <laughs> this is horrible! The Benevidons have awakened! Evil! 
won't let him get away! Whoa! This thing's so tough! I will show you the strength of my will! Take your punishment! Get back! You can't run! What does this oppressive aura mean? I'll show you power! Right here! Right now! <laughs> 